So I'm going to send a sticker to ID. And you can see the response is pretty instantaneous. Uh, so on the right side is the iOS application that I wrote up uh, just this week. Uh, I have been, I've integrated uh, Pico Candy's SDK and uh, you can see that everything just works uh, it's, it's the same as me. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to publish a uh, reference application that you know you guys are on GitHub. So you can, if you're interested, you can go to GitHub and you can you know, take a look at the, the reference application and see how you can view uh, such an app. Like with Pico Candy's SDK, all you need to do is you know really less than ten line of code so you're using the SDK. It provides all the user interface for your sticker keyboard, uh, your candy store, which is you know, the store where you find your stickers. Uh, and that's that's really all you need to do as a developer. Of course, we provide a lot more flexibility if you want to take the SDK uh, and build your own user interface because you you know you want to have a consistent uh, look and feel your application, you can do that. Uh, but you know, our goal is really just to make it really simple for anyone who's doing a messaging app to use our, our technology. So uh, Geraldine, uh, my uh, co-founder, just going to talk to you more about you know, EcoCandy and how and why you should use EcoCandy within your application. Okay, so I'm um, going to talk about less of the technical part and more of like basic stickers. So you guys are all familiar with stickers, right? In messaging and all that. So what Pico Candy does is we take care of not just the content, but also the tech. Because the reality is some some apps already have a store, but they don't have enough stickers to sell for giveaway for free. Some apps don't even have a sticker store, and there's a developer team of like three people, and they're trying to make people their own sticker store, they're trying to build a game, they're trying to build a social network on top of each other. So what we're trying to solve, essentially, is to have one part taken care of. So basically, the sticker store that's already powered with like all kinds of content. So that's what we call stickers as a service. So currently, we are powering apps um, across all different kinds of networks. Right, so we started about a year ago, and now we're working with all most of the major messaging apps out there, social networks. Um, and then in my next couple of slides, I'll talk about how stickers are being used because they're not just used for messaging and texting; they're also used in many other applications as well. So um, why stickers? So if you guys think about like um, virtual goods and games, right? So stickers is kind of the same thing. At the same time, it's also a self-expression thing. So like people basically buy stickers because. You don't want to just tell somebody hi or tell somebody you're running late, like you know, I'm going to be late for an appointment. So you send them this really, really cute sticker, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, it's okay to be late for 15 minutes. So, um, what the reality is, like Kang mentioned earlier on, Line makes lots of money on stickers. We sell our stickers to all our partners, and we are starting to see that revenues are coming in. So, um, there are going to be people that will never pay for stickers, but at the same time, there are people that are crazy and will buy lots of stickers. It's kind of like games, right? So how do game companies make lots of money and still stay afloat when people don't actually pay for games? Most of you guys 
How many of you here pay for coaches at St. Peter's? Everyone here plays free games? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you ever like penny prize or any oh. game and then pay for You also buy free games, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
So um, basically, that's kind of like what we are about. And um, can you talk about Firebase? As you guys know, Firebase is not part of Google. So there's a lot of these like, like basically like tools, right? Like game engines, like tools. So people Candy SDK is really like to solve the problem of like not having to build your own virtual good store. And, um, and, and and what we kind of focus on is just, you know, the stickers of Firebase. So there's a lot of content that our developers are using. Any questions for Ken? or me about like Firebase messaging, building your own messaging app, and um, secrets? Yeah. Uh, more around uh, Firebase. Yeah. Uh, you're saying that it's a data store, primarily because it lacks features like uh, searching, querying, etc. Is that right? Or uh, Firebase provides those features? Yeah, so Firebase, does allow you to search your data, uh, but there are some quirks to it. So you have to structure your data so that uh, there are certain rules that you need to follow in order for your data for your data to be query queryable. So if you break those rules, like for example, like uh, if you have like a nested structure of uh, JSON arrays, right? Uh, if you remove any uh, data from that array, uh, that array becomes not searchable. So there are things that you have to be, uh, that you have to be aware of. Uh, but definitely, once you are uh, aware of those um, constraints, then you know, it, it definitely has the search feature built in. Yeah. Yeah. How does, how does that app authenticate itself when connects? So, in my demo, I I didn't use any of the security authentication. So Firebase does provide like a whole suite of authentication where you can set up uh, security policies for each of your users. So you can set up policies for read-only, write-only, and stuff like that. It's very flexible. And uh, they also provide a, the Facebook and Twitter um, login. So you can actually enable these two um, logins, which then um, allows your application to to transparently, um, I guess the, they don't really have to take care of any uh, user authentication. So they'll they'll do the authentication through Facebook or Twitter. So Simon, the, you have the URL to access the Firebase data. Yeah. Can you can you just type in the URL in our web browser and see that same data? Um, so you can set it up so that it's protected, so it's authenticated by <coughs> so the user. That authentication is done can yeah. be done through Facebook. Yes. Okay. So only that can read the data. Yeah, so only a login user can access the data that, that um, is owned by them. Does that make sense? Uh, something really cool um, I didn't show. Uh, so you can see that I can go to this peoplecandydemo.firebase.io.com. It picks up the, uh, my uh, Firebase console. You can see that uh, this is exactly the structure of the data that I'm, I'm saving here. And this is the last message I sent. Cool, right? Okay. So you can actually uh, play around with your data like, through their web console, and it's, it's pretty cool. Does all the data have to reside inside uh, Firebase, or can you basically take it? Install it into your own servers. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, they actually have um, this feature where you can actually um, interface your backend servers to the mm -hmm. API. So you can actually um, provide logic for your your data, as well as like pull data from Firebase from your backend. Uh, but you know, like since they provide the whole stack of, of technology, um, your data are backed up, it's automatically scaled and things like that. So you don't really have to, you know, like if you're thinking of that I want to back up my data somewhere, like that's been taken care of. Any other questions? So I come looking at uh, any of uh, your basic accounts and uh, what's the difference between Standard, uh, standard, <coughs> <SDK> and <coughs> right. 
So um, I'll talk a little bit more about that. So what we want to offer is for most developers is to keep it free because you guys start from like zero. But the premium account allows you to have a little bit more features and how you control your content. For example, um, you're able to tag your own content, you're able to upload your own speakers. So basically you're, you're accessing our content management system. We do go to use like all the services, which is not available in the basic plan. So the basic plan basically is like self speakers, right? And then um, the other difference is you get more premium content. So the basic plan allows you to get some famous characters, uh, but then like there are some very convenient points. Uh, we offer that in a free form. So same thing like the premium indie developer plan, uh, it's kind of like you know some of the content you get in like the enterprise that you work the bigger platforms, the same kind of things. Yeah. Are you a developer? Okay. You probably went to our website, so you can tell you know that's Anyone here that's creating an application or work for an agency or you know like a company where you guys are thinking of like having a social feature and um, want to look at stickers, you can just contact me or King, um, and then we'll we'll be able to talk more. Yeah. Anything else? So uh, overall, what do you guys think of like the the talk today? So some of you are uh, some familiar faces, some not so familiar faces. For the guys of you, uh, for you guys who have been to our meetup before, um, so we get sponsorships from different companies, right? So I mean, you have followed us for, followed us for about a year. We were at Samsung before. We had like you know different uh, places that we helped us, and then most of them were at the Co. So our regular location is at the Co, which is at High Street. If you guys know where like the Treasury Building is, and Hunan Center is like across the street. So that's where our usual location is. Um, so every month, like Kang mentioned, we have sponsors and people talking about stuff that's technical and non-technical. So it's also a good way how you guys can social network and make network with each other. Um, we just want to bring like you know all the like-minded people that like enjoy development or maybe just you know just want to make friends, right? We just come from here. So yeah, thank you everyone uh, for coming today. And then uh, once again, um, follow us on our meetup page for more information. Because the next one could be at you know one of the other big companies.